we're asked to evaluate the in-depth integral or find the antiderivative. Notice how we don't have limits of integration, which is why we know we have an in-depth integral, which means the result is going to be a family of functions that have a derivative of two times e raised to the power of negative three x. Looking at the integration formula that is given below, notice how our integral resembles this integration formula here, where the integral of e to the u integrated with respect to u is equal to e to the u plus c. But notice how in our case, because the exponent is not just x, we'll have to perform a u substitution or a change of variables. But before we do this, let's go ahead and factor out the two and write this as two times the integral of e raised to the power of negative three x dx. And now we'll let u equal the exponent of negative three x. So once we select our u, we need to find differential u, which will be equal to the derivative of negative three x with respect to x times dx. So here differential u is equal to negative three times dx. We don't have a negative three dx in our integral, so let's go ahead and solve this for dx by dividing both sides by negative three. So we have negative one-third du is equal to dx. And now we'll write our integral in terms of u. So we'd have two times the integral of e raised to the power of negative three x is equal to u. So we have e to the u and dx is equal to negative one-third du. Let's factor out the negative one-third and then we have our du. So simplifying, we have negative two-thirds times the integral of e to the u du. So applying our integration formula now, we have negative two-thirds times the integral of e to the u, which is e to the u and then plus c. So e to the u is actually e to the negative three x plus c. So this is our antiderivative, which means big F of x is equal to negative two-thirds e to the negative three x plus c, and therefore the derivative of big F of x should equal F of x equals two times e raised to the power of negative three x. Let's go ahead and check this. So big F prime of x is gonna be equal to negative two-thirds times the derivative of e raised to the power of negative three x, which requires a chain rule. The derivative is going to be e raised to the power of negative three x times the derivative of negative three x, which is negative three, plus the derivative of a constant, which is always zero. So now we simplify. Big F prime of x is equal to, notice here this is negative three over one, so the three simplify out. So this simplifies to negative two times negative one, that's positive two, e to the negative three x, which notice is the integrand function f of x, which verifies our antiderivative is correct. I hope you found this helpful.